Welcome or welcome back. I'm Aletta and we are back to Strange Horticulture. It has been a long time since we played this game, so we probably need a little recap. I definitely do, but we, we are apparently on day four and we're just like oh, a little mystery, I think. Um, figure out what these strange plants are and run a little plant shop all at the same time and pet our little cat right here. So cute. Um, I don't remember what this means, um, but yeah, it's kind of like a figure it out as you go kind of game. I wonder what this means. Does that match up to the map? I'm gonna see if it's, if that works. Okay. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds, a reset. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that worked. Two plants, awesome. So yeah, we're just trying to get plants. Our uncle died. Um, yeah, check out part one if you want to see more, but it's a pretty chill game. I'm very happy to be back to it. I love horticulture as a whole. Um, but yeah, let's let's get our first customer of the day. We got little Reuben Ward. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly with me. Now that I have the time to pursue it properly, or not that I have the time, I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found up the swim side stone circle, and apparently it's a grizzly one. Don't suppose you've got anything to keep my lunch down. My stomach's never coped too well with those. Fennet, okay. And then, so he wants Fennet, so let's see what, what our book says about that. Chewing the tough root of this plant is said to ease belly aches and reduce anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. Okay, so these ones with labels are the ones that we figured out. So this one looks like it could have long soft leaves. Unpleasant scent. Okay, that doesn't really help. This one is leafy. Uh, it's also raining, which is quite nice. Smooth leaves. Definitely not soft. I feel like it's this one. Quite soft. Okay, let's try this one. Hey, game. <laughs> this is my final guess, please. Okay, use plant. Okay, good. Fennet, collect. It's well liked by butterflies. Oh, and before I forget, I did turn the music volume down because uh, we got a copyright. Um, and I also did auto labeling, which I did not know was a thing last time. I was labeling all of them. So yeah, that's why there's no music, unfortunately. I might add some if I think we need it, but the rain is a nice backdrop, so I like it. Um, we can explore some more if we want. I don't really think we need to though. Let's uh get another customer. Oh, we got some mail. Morning. Verona Green handed me this for you. She seemed in a good mood. Thank you. What do we get? I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on a recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just northeast of Rustland. It was like nothing I've seen before. I would have brought it back with me to that. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protected lately. Kind regards, Verona Green. Okay. Grisdale, northeast of Rustland. So here? From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling that I'm being watched. Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bones. Nobody may wander freely through the forest by order of the artist as a leader. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Mellow glow. Oh, okay, so we need a plant right now. Let's go back to the index. Yeah. Among other uses for the plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible be to become hidden from sight and memory. It has sharp thorns. Well, this one definitely has sharp thorns. I feel like this is it, but what other ones have sharp thorns? This one does too. No. Yeah, okay, we're going to try this one. Okay, good. With the help of the mellow glow, I walk past the sisters without them paying me any head. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant that Verona talked about and take my leap. 
Sweet, we got a new plant. Awesome. And apparently this game has different endings, so I'm very interested to see what we get and also what the other ones are, but I have not looked at any spoilers, so I don't really know what ending we're heading towards. Uh, we haven't had our dread fill up all the way yet, um, which I'm pretty scared to happen. Like, I'm worried the game will just end if that happens. Um, well, I'm afraid. The camp for you gave me is helping me sleep, and I'm very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the Jane mask appears in my dreams every night. She screams at me, but I do not know why. And behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. Oh, I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like a warning that I don't understand, a mosaic of color that refuses to come into focus. Some part of me wants to stare down the abyss, but I'm afraid. Okay, so we can give her one or another. I'm guessing this is one of the things that affect the ending we get. Um, okay, let's first look at uh, Guria. It can enhance psychic abilities. Okay, so this will help her go through her fear, see what the vision's about, and then Candlewood. Candlewood will provide a shielding effect. I don't know if we sh which one we should give her. We'd have to figure out which one is which first. So the first one that would help her figure out the thing, it has light blue flowers. Um, are these blue? Can't tell if they're blue or white. Soft, pale blue flowers. Okay, I think that's probably it. Um, okay, so this one we could give her, or I think this one would be Candlewood. I don't know what to do, you guys. I want to give her this one, but I feel like I should protect her. But also I feel like she'll still be anxious either way, so I should just give her the... One that'll help her figure out why she's having these dreams. Yeah, let's just give her this one. Okay, let's get another customer in here. Margaret Elizabeth. No, Margaret Elspeth. We don't come to Undermere often, but I heard about your shop, and I said to Francis we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of a life in an otherwise dreary town. I'm the green-fingered one, and it's not really his cup of tea, but I persuaded him the trip would be do him good, and besides, he'll, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Shame about this awful weather, though. You must come to Caesar. We have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I'm sure they will be an interest to a horticulturist such as yourself. Aw, oh, thanks. That's so sweet. Sid Eric Castle. Okay... There's a castle? Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to a castle. Oh, uh, that was not the castle, you guys. Oh, that that's not even the same thing. It just... <laughs> it's right here. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, um, we can do that after this next customer, then. Francis, I'm looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves. Wait, aren't you the husband? It helps with my heartburn. Yellow flowers, coarse sleeves. All right. Is it lemon dandy that he wants? Oh, it's gotta be finite, right? Oh, but it says coarse sleeves. It says soft leaves. Ah, guy. <laughs> okay, let's look at Gandhi root then. Okay, I'm guessing he wants this. Gandhi root. Yes, okay. But I already identified that. I guess because I did it myself, it didn't count. Alright, let's try going to the castle again. Not a random town. I am greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elsbeth herself. She is very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the gardens. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out a plant that I do not recognize, but before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me on to the next. And this one too, she says. I'm quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library, and I don't have time to make as thorough study as I would like. Nevertheless, I am able to find an interesting entry that I note down. Don't forget these, Lady Elsbeth cries as I make to leave. She thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands, and I thank her warmly. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. Um, so we got some more plants, I guess. Where did those go? Oh, here's one of them. Selena Scott. They're saying Black Combat is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw the ghost of a huge deer, antlers, and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. 
Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to that poor young man up at Swinside. I've come for some stinking mount cap. Okay, sunset mount cap. So I should have that then. A type of fungus with domed cap, some kind called stinking mount cap, as a result of its unpleasant odor. Okay, so this one smells bad. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's that one. Let's go! Awesome. Oh, sweet. Okay, we can end the day. Perfect. So we got one day down. Hopefully we can do three in an episode. It takes me like a little over 20 minutes to do one day. At 15, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl grew, drew inward as her father turned to drink. Okay. Tuesday. I like how like creepy it looks outside. Okay, she lives alone in castle. Let's get the map out. So much quieter um, without the rain. There's a bunch of castles. Oh my gosh. Okay, this castle. She buried her husband there. Three miles to the east where the Everheart grows. So here? Or like at the castle? I guess we'll see. I'm gonna guess here. Yes! Awesome. A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to one side, a patch of flowers grows on a low mound. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love that shade of pink. Wow. Let's take a look at that really quick. Pink flowers. <laughs> nice. I should probably organize all this again. Uh, it's fine. Oh my goodness, I'm scared. <gasps> no! <laughs> what have you done to me? I see the woman in the jade mask everywhere, and that creature that stands over her shoulder. I feel like I can almost sense its desires. I'm afraid of the sisterhood. That much is clear. It will lay waste to them. Oh, it is afraid of the sisterhood. So much death, but it can be avoided with Arduiana's protection. I do not know if I'm awake or asleep even now. No, I'm so sorry! Oh, I feel the darkness tearing at my mind. Oh, I feel so bad now. Okay, so she needs some worry less. Inhaling the smell of the flowers is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. I feel like it's this. It looks like the picture and it smells good. So hopefully, hopefully it's this. Okay, good. I hope that helps. I'm so sorry. Inhaling smoke from burning the dried leaves of the plant can provide pain relief of the hop hearts. Nice. All right. Next customer, please. Simone Green is back. I met a strange man on the road to Sedberg not two days ago. Stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you. Don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. Said he doesn't come near towns at all if he can help it. He was headed west, at least I think he was. He said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Oh, thanks. She wants some common truss. I feel like I've done that one. No? Okay. Quite tricky to find. It has grown abundance in the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Its leaves have been used for centuries as a balm against eye strain. This one? Oh my gosh, I really thought that would be wrong. Ah! Man wanted to meet you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near to the source of the river Winster. Okay, let's put this away for a second so I can look at the map. Oh, we'll give some pets. <laughs> okay, Sedberg was here where I went on accident. So, west is this way. The river in Winster. Oh, here it is. Okay. Headed west from here. Um, so let's, should we try here first? It says near the source, which is like here. Ah, I'm sorry, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna water some plants and try again. Okay, I'm gonna do my first instinct, which was here. The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the spring. The cooled remains of a fire, ringed by stones, is the only immediate sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there is no reply. The hermit is not here. 
A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked off to one side, I discover some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. Minus two over three. So we were here and he went down two, three. The camp at the Winter Spring has led me to net another camp of sorts where I am greeted by an eccentric man. Oh yes, yes, ho ho, ho ho. This man says, you must take this, take it, take it. At his insistence, I receive the looking glass that he thrusts into my hands. He places an envelope del delicately on top. Ho ho, it is no use to me anymore. Ha <laughs> ha, no use. Don't forget the red, the red, the red, the red. <laughs> Ebony. What? I am sure that he is quite mad. Yeah, okay. <gasps> what? What is this? What is this? What? Hello? Hello? It is said that the red ebony plant plantain has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. I have perfected a device designed to use extract from the plants. Okay. So, like, should I use it? With like a plant? Yeah? <gasps> ah! Why did it give me a tread? What do you mean that wasn't the right plant? I wasn't looking for a specific plant. Okay. I am not long for this world and I've decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with the rare and beautiful Cabalia, like a Jer Huntsman in their Janthium covered tombs. Alright. Contains six petals. Finding a seven petal flower is considered to bring good fortune. Okay, so. Definitely not that. This one looks like guy six. This looks like the picture. Um, okay, so since I think that's it, I'm gonna drag it on here and see what that does. What the heck? That wasn't it? I feel like that was it. What do you what is this for? What do I do with this? Yeah, I see. I feel like this one's it. Okay, I don't understand why that thing said it wasn't the right plant. Eye bright. Take care not to touch. It's brightly colored thorn. Okay. I don't understand what this is for. It's so weird. Okay. Ah! Not the girl in the jaded mask! <gasps> Your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some hop heart. Alright. Um, firm leaves grow up the stems, leading to blue flowers. Alright. Yeah, I think it's this one. Okay, cool. Got another plant added. I'm scared to, like, do anything because the dread is two-thirds full. Ruben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swinside Stone Circle. Signs of ritual sacrifice, maybe. Oh, yikes. I could do with some witch... Which... Would take with me. Always comes in useful. Okay. I don't... Well liked by butterflies. Often confused with the fever kiss. Okay, I feel like... Okay, this one must be the fever kiss, then. Just small red berries. So which one looks like the fever kiss? Oh, this looks like the leaves. Um, yeah, okay, this has gotta be it. Yeah, okay. It's the only other one that has the same leaves as the fever kiss one. People tend to be drawn to Jacob's Worth, okay. Hello. I never see anybody in your shop. It's a daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Believe me, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. My beautiful little cat. I need some bitches to prepare myself for a work-related matter. Why are you here if you... If, what? Okay, a mushroom. Okay, um... You can have this one, I guess. Okay, I think it's this one. Alright, phew, I was worried that would be wrong. There we go. I, I have no idea what this thing is, and... Okay, I think I'm actually gonna take a little break from the game, but I don't think it saves this part if I don't look at it now, so... 
Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. Okay, interesting. Wednesday, let's go. Oh, this was sad. Okay, well, I did rearrange this by, um, well, it's like, it's deadly and then leafy bulbs, and then it's, these three are flowers, kind of like colored, and then we got our mushrooms, and then the ones on the bottom are the ones without labels, so hopefully that'll be easier to navigate, but yeah, we should be back to this day in a minute.